So, in case the other tutorial is, of course, very long, then here is a short version and overall summary of what you need to do to set up the Wadido SDK so you can convert your models into the Wadido avatar format. Now, of course, if you're already familiar with how to load up Unity project files, then uh, you should be good. Otherwise, if you need to know how to do that, please check out my longer version of the tutorial as it has timestamps to help you out. With that being said, though, the first thing you need to do, of course, in your Unity project file is you need to click on the Wadido. A uh, little tab here. Click on new mod. Name the new mod whatever you want. You can name it your character. Then click on create mod. Once you have a folder, what you're going to then do is you're going to choose the model file that you want. If it's going to be FBX, do keep in mind of normalization issues, but otherwise you can convert FBX and ditch VRM. If you're going to use VRM, you can have some advantages with, regarding physics as well as normalization. Either way, choose your battle, and pretty much for my case though, I'm going to choose FBX for my case. So I'm going to go ahead and import the textures and the FBX of my model and wait for it to load. So once your model is loaded, if you're going through the FBX route, what you're going to have to do for your case once the FBX settings do load up, you're going to have to make sure that your animation type is set to humanoid. And then, um, besides that, you also need to make sure that for your model, um, you need to make sure that the read write as well as the legacy blend shape normals are checked off. And then for materials, you need to make sure to click on extract materials by, by right clicking here, create uh, a folder. Then name it materials. And then what you're going to do is you're going to extract materials into this folder basically. And pretty much that is at least how you will set up for the FBX. If by any chance you are a VRM file, you don't have to do this. And in fact, you can already click and drag your character into the hierarchy and pretty much just get started with setting up everything basically. So let me go ahead and quickly set up this FBX file so we can go on with converting it into a Wadido avatar format. So for my case, I've already went ahead and finished setting up the FBX import settings. So what you're going to do if it's in the FBX case, you're going to have to click on VRM0 and make sure that you click on freeze T-pose. That way you should hopefully help normalize your bones and such, but if by any chance you still experience some normalization issues, you may have to do some um, editing inside a blender or Maya depending on the program of choice so that way you can be able to fix the normalization issue by freezing transformations. Also if by any chance you do a uh freeze t-pose here by any chance please do not export the normalized version right here that has been created by the um the vrm add-on basically because this one if you were to convert this into a Wadido avatar it will not load your mesh at all so please do not use this instead just focus on the main file right here so what we're going to do is we're going to click on the model click on Wadido, and then what you're going to do um, is make sure that you click on setup character. Now, if by any chance you see false under normalized bones, there is a 50% chance that your skeleton may have some twisty bones, or maybe it might come out pretty well. Uh, it depends on each model, and again, normalization for only FBX um, can be a bit problematic, but depending on how the model is set up, you should be good to go. Otherwise, though, um, if you are experiencing too many normalization issues, you could try the VRM method, so that way it's a lot more easier and um, less stressful, basically. But either way, click on the button that says set up selected um, game object here and give it some time to process. Um, you know, process the setup character because what it'll do is that it will turn your FBX or VRM file into a character prefab. That way it can be an exportable for the Wadido mod. If by any chance you have this success pop-up menu you, or this little message here, you should be good to go. Otherwise, if there's an error, please retrace your steps and see about what might potentially have caused the issue. Otherwise though, you may click on OK and then exit out of the little window here. To make sure that your FBX file was successfully and properly will convert into a Wadido avatar format, you need to make sure that for the FBX one, there's a character prefab in the mod folder that was created, as well as there has to be a character mesh over here, and even the avatar, um, you know, avatar definition over here. If you do not see these by any chance, it probably means that despite the Wadido SDK telling you it's successful, it will not export properly, so please make sure that this is provided. If you're a VRM file, however, you only have to see just the character prefab and you should be good to go. So once you make sure that either your FBX file has these following files here, or if your VRM has the character prefab, what you're going to do next 
is that in the Wadudo um, little tab right here, under mod settings, you have to make sure to set up all of your information here. It's not necessary, but it is highly recommended, especially if you're going to do some model sharing. You can name your character or environment or prop, you can give it um, a version number, who made it, a description, even uh, a little picture to describe it. And then also we have to set up the mod export directory. If by any chance you are wondering what the mod export directi directory should be, it could pretty much be any type of uh, file path on your computer, but it is more recommended, depending uh, if you want to make it more convenient for yourself, that you go into Wadido, find your character, and then scroll a little bit down, click on the open characters folder, and then when the file explorer pops up, double click on this top area right here, control C, and then what you're going to do is paste it into the mod export directory here. That way when you export, it goes directly into the Wadido character folder, so that way you are ready to test as soon as possible. Now go ahead and click on the X right here, and once you're done with that, you're going to go back into Wadido, and then just double check if you have multiple different types of mods or characters, assets, please make sure to choose the correct one depending on which mod you want to export. because. Uh, when it comes to exporting in Wadido, just selecting on your character here isn't going to change anything. Pretty much what actually determines what will be exported is the folder, hence why the reason you create a new mod, because it will basically, um, it will basically create the mod over here as shown basically. So either way, make sure it's, you select the right one and then once you are ready, of course, you can either click on build mod here or uh, what you can do is go into Wadido and build mod with Control shift b up here. And once you do that, you just have to wait until the model is processed. Once your model successfully uploaded um, and basically is built and put in the folder here, uh, basically what you're going to then do is go into your character for Wadido, then what you're going to do is you're going to go into the source, find the model that you made, for my case mine is Kana, and then give it some time to process. If by any chance you don't see your character still, try moving the camera and it should hopefully help you out. Other than that though, yes, ignore the mouse over there. But otherwise though, this should be at least a quick guide on how you can convert your FBX or your um, VR model into the Wadido avatar format. Do keep in mind um, that this is just a quick guide for people who want a quick summary. This does not explain all of the potential issues you may experience. So if you're curious about certain issues you may experience during your process, please watch the original tutorial that I made regarding the Wadido avatar and how you convert your model into that format, um, as it explains a lot more in depth every single step of the whole process and such. But without further ado, I hope that this tutorial helps you out on general understanding and have a lovely day. Bye bye!